DJ Ferris. Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. Hit me. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up the. Let's get sports talk. Out of Boston, Celtics All Star Jalen Brown missing the remainder of this season. Brown has a torn ligament in his left wrist. He will have surgery this week, the team said. On April 27th, Brown took a hard fall, appeared to favor his wrist. So we don't know for sure that's what did it, but we can look back at that. He went on to play three more games, but finally did get shut down yesterday. He's averaging nearly 25 points, six rebounds this season. So, Vince, what are the Celtics' chances without Brown the rest of the way? It was already a tough week or two for them. I, I think right now it's going to be tough for them, and, and, and I think why those numbers right there that you're showing. And, and, and yes, that's some of your points. It's not going to be the floor. That's the other half of this team besides Taylor. That's when Kemba Walker got to step up in, in the playoffs and give him like 28, 29, and let Taylor give him like 30. He got to be the other scorer. Besides Tatum, because Jalen Brown is not on the floor. So you take all the numbers that he had off the floor, they already struggling. Now they had to play off without Jalen Brown in the lineup. So it's got to be Kemba, the next guy after Tatum. Because he was the third option. Now he's the second option since Tatum, but he says Brown's not going to be on the floor. Jalen Brown brought so much to the table. We know uh, Tatum is the go-to guy. We know uh, Marcus Smart is the heart of the team, but he's an extremely important part on both ends of the floor. He's improved. I thought he, he's, he's up for most improved player, in my opinion. He has a great chance. I mean, we know what that guy's doing in New York. Uh, but, I mean, he's been playing outstanding basketball. What he was doing when Tatum was out kept, kept, kept the Boston Celtics afloat. Yes, they weren't playing great basketball. They got the team back together. The trio of Brown, Tatum, and Smart started to rise and took them from eighth. Oh, well, they were almost out to now. Uh, you, yes, they're seventh, but I'm concerned. I'm concerned, and I just think it's going to be a up, uphill battle. Yes, they added 48, but and, and you're going to need Smart to play and score more points, but it's not Jalen Brown. Guy, guy let, let, let's be honest. We're, we're not going to disrespect the, the, the Boston Celtics. We're not going to disrespect Jalen Brown. But, Without Jalen Brown an already struggling team yep. is just they're they're not going to do much the first round exit if they're lucky but this is a team that has been fighting for championships the last five years you don't have that type of team and that's not a knock what you do have is two of the best yes it's, it's gonna be very tough because they that seven seed they're going to play brooklyn and they need jenna brown to be on the floor to be able to have a chance against Brooklyn Big Three and Harden and KD and Kyrie. It's going to be very tough without him on that floor. Marcus Smart, not the one that needs to step on. He just needs to continue playing his defense, get him a little bit of points. It's got to be Kimber, the next guy at the Tatum, that's got to have big games in the playoffs right along with Tatum because Tatum had that, that time of struggling. So it's going to have to be Campbell getting him some type of points. It's going to have to be the bench that uh, the at least gives some points also. It's going to be very tough when you have your second guy playing. And that's and that, and that's going to be Campbell be the next guy. Because he... Young superstars in this league, and you have a ton of other young talent around them, guys that are in their early 20s, not mid, not late, early 20s, right? And so you have a ton to build on, and so, like, you should be very, very excited about your future, but your future kind of starts today. And Jason Tatum and these guys are going to still play, but realistically, it's very similar to the Denver Nuggets when they lost Jamal Murray. Your chances of winning a championship went from slim to next to impossible. Well, look, I mean, Denver's playing very well uh, with what Nicole Hooks has done without Jamal Murray, anything. so I'm not ready to pronounce them They're anything done. They're done, yet. too. But I will say, They're done, too. Witcher, come on. <laughs> They're done. They're not, you can't win a They're done. They're done. I, I'm going to just respectfully disagree, but I will say this. I will say that those tables do turn, right, because the Celtics were in the Eastern Conference Finals three of the last four years. 
certainly among Celtics fans, not players, but fans, there has been a bit of, oh, Kyrie Irving, we don't need you. And then look, if you look at that bracket, if things stay the way they are now, you'd have the Celtics playing the Nets in the first round without Jalen Brown with Kyrie Irving on the other side. So we'll see if that develops. Very sorry, though, to hear that about Jalen was having a great season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports.